Hi Salt users, this is Joelle from Salt Software and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a new transcript, save it, and then open it up again using Salt Software. I'm going to be using Salt 20 for this video. You should have the Salt icon on your desktop after you have installed the software. So what you want to do is just go ahead and open the software and you're presented with the Getting Started dialog box. So we're going to be creating a brand new transcript. So I'm going to select New and then we're presented with another dialog box that is our header information. So everything that we put in to this dialog box will be in the header. So our target speaker can either be child, client, or other. I'm going to go ahead and take the default. Other speaker, examiner, parent, or other. So there's some flexibility there, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep it with examiner. Participant ID might be like a student ID. If you have that, you can fill it in. Name, you can fill in first, last, whatever you want. I do like to fill in the gender because that will help us out um, later on when we generate some reports. And then date of birth and the present day or date of the sample. And then you can click calc, um, calc CA, current age, and I'll calculate that for you. Grade if you want to fill that in, ethnicity, parent education. Again, some of these boxes are optional. Um, I would definitely do the age though if you're going to do a database comparison. Examiner's name, transcriber, location if you want, that can work out, um, collection point, maybe you're doing a time one or two sample. Sampling context, so over here we have conversation, narrative, expository, or persuasion, and other if you're using a different elicitation. So you'll notice if you select narrative, the subgroup becomes available. So if you're doing a frog, where are you, or Pukins gets her way, test of narrative language um, one or two, you'll want to select narrative and then your subgroup. Um, I'm just going to do a conversation for this one. Target language can be English, Spanish, French, or other. And if you are doing a bilingual, you can select this box for Spanish and then select Spanish, English, French, English, or other. Other header information is anything else that you want to show on your header. So um, maybe you're going to be doing some fluency coding, so you want that code noted on your transcript. Anything else that you want to add. And you can go ahead and select the database for comparison here. I clicked on Browse Built-in Database. So I'm going to go ahead and select the conversation database for my sample. And then over here, if you want, you can check to make sure that everything is entered correctly. Looks like this one has no errors, so we're good. And then you can click OK. So here is what our blank transcript looks like. So we can see all of that information that we entered is now in the header. So this is the point at which you would have your playback system and transcribe your sample. So I'm just going to um, paste in some dialogue here again and then we'll just kind of pretend that I'm done with my transcribing and I want to go ahead and just save this file. So you can click this button here or file save as and you'll notice that it opened to the default. So the default is my salt data transcripts and then samples. So you can um, go ahead and name your sample just like you would any other sample and then go ahead and click save. Okay so we'll X out of here and then we'll go ahead and open. We'll find that sample again so I'm going to double click on my icon. This time I'm going to select open because I want to go find that transcript. Again it defaults to our folder samples and then I click, click on the one that I had saved and hit open. And there is our sample. Hopefully this helped you out with learning how to create and save a new salt transcript. Thanks for watching.